I got every workout from 1983 until 1997. Every single workout, every rep, every set. Preparation notes for Mr. Olympia and all these things. This worked, this didn't work. So very analytical, writing everything, analyzing, studying. His training diary was his life, and that was him. He knew if he followed X, it would equal Y, and, it, and that's what's been proven. He totally believed what he was doing was right. He had no doubts. That's half the battle. If you believe in something, you, you can make it happen. Blood and guts is just to the level where no one's willing to go. I mean, that's, that's what it's about. Turn the body inside out, no matter what it takes. He wasn't going to stop. He was a train. I was never going to be a men's physique. Didn't have much of an off-season. I like his physique better. I'm always very energetic. I will have to put me as one of the greatest. Mr. Olympia was won by the back. Um, now, some people say, you know, you, you kind of, you, you know, obviously you've, you've competed, you know, for the last how many years, I don't know, but I st you still kind of have the old school spirit in you, right? Um, a lot of people nowadays saying the quality of bodybuilding, bodybuilders went down than they were in, let's say, in the 90s. Do you agree or disagree with that statement? Uh, I mean, 90s, like, uh, Dorian's, the Ronnie Coleman era, I mean, I, I didn't compete with these guys. I mean, I, I competed with some of these guys, but I mean, I, I'm, I'm a fan, big fan of these guys, you know, because I, that's when I started, you know, night, late 90s. So, uh, I mean, but, you know, size-wise, these guys are bigger, you know, like, a few he's, we got a few he's, Brandon and a big Rami, Lori Winker, these guys are huge, you know, like, probably 20, 30 pounds bigger than the guys uh, in the 90s. So, I don't think it's, you know, like, uh, this argument, like, uh, 90s versus, you know, current era. I think the, <laughs> the guys competing now, you know, like, put put on the same stage as 90s, they, they can compete or you know, they are, I think they are better. It's bigger, you know? Mm, bigger yeah. is better. <laughs> yeah. Bigger is better. I mean, uh, that's how sports, you know, they evolve. You know, you be, this is a muscle muscle contest, so you got to have bigger muscle, right? Of course, you have to have condition, you know, together. But right, that's what people are saying, condition is, there's people saying the condition is not as good as it used to be. Well, well you know, like... I don't think that I don't agree with it. You know, these look at these guys uh, like two hundred fifty pounds of straight glutes. You don't you don't have straight glutes if you're you know like uh, off you know on the stage. So uh, I don't know, but you know like if this argument always uh, happened any kind of sports, right? <laughs> Basketball, you know, like you know baseball. So uh, it's it's good argument for like entertainment you know purpose. But uh, right now these guys uh, I don't. I don't want people, you know, criticize these guys, you know, like uh, uh, the conditioning, uh, conditioning uh, worse than before. I don't agree with it. Hmm. That's fair enough. Um, who do you think are the top five two twelve bodybuilders of all time? Top five of all time two twelve division. In your in your opinion, uh -huh. in your opinion, obviously. Two twelve. I mean, uh, obviously, it's it's Frex for sure. You know, like Frex. Uh, uh, Jose, Jose Raymond, and uh, the Dave Handy, and one, two, three, uh, Eduardo. Oh man, uh, one more, <laughs> one more, <laughs> one more. Who, who else? So five. Uh, I want to put, put myself in there, but who else? No, you can be in it. I think you can definitely be in it. You won Arnold Classic a couple of years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, okay, I can, I can put myself in. <laughs> but you know, there are so many. There are so many. I mean, I mean, uh, too many to think of. But definitely, these four I, I just mentioned. These are these guys are competing, have been competing for a long time. Jose just retired. But, you know, uh, let's say like. Uh, oh, he retired Jose. officially. He retired officially. Uh, Jose. Yeah, Jose retired. Uh, I think last year, I mean, two years ago. I wasn't sure if he's going to come back or not. Like, I wasn't sure if he's yeah, full, you know. Yeah, I think he can come back. Uh, the reason why he retired was his hip. But he did a hip re replacement, so uh, he could come back, I think. 
And uh, uh, Dave Handy, he's been competing uh, like Dexter. He's, he's one of the legends, you know. People don't talk about him as much but as Dexter, but he's, he's competing as long as uh, Dexter, too. Um, do you see anybody today, like any of the younger guys, that you think are going to be very, very big in the future as far as, you know, the top athletes in the sport? Do you see some potential right now in, uh, uh, in the industry? Hunter, uh, Lila Blada's uh, boy, he just won Tamper. He, he's obviously the, probably the, the uh, biggest, you know, like a story in the body you, you never, you haven't seen guys, you know, come in, you know, just turn pro and then I win the show. We, we haven't seen, you know, this kind of guy for a while. Then he just done it. So, uh, uh, yeah, there are many young, you know, like 20s. They are already big, you know, like, I'm like, wow, these guys are huge already.